there are many living things around us. Some living things are quite big, while others are small. But did you know that there are living things which are even smaller that you cannot see them using your naked eye? That's right! And to be able to learn and understand their nature and characteristics, we need to use a special instrument, like this one. This is a microscope. The microscope is used to see or magnify many things that cannot be seen by the naked eye. The microscope is an important investigative tool used for studying objects and organisms around us. Microorganisms like bacteria can be observed through the use of microscope. Compound microscope or optical microscope is the most common type of microscope. Now let's talk about the different parts and function of the microscope and how it really works. The parts of compound microscope can be divided into three groups. The magnifying, the illuminating, and the mechanical parts. The magnifying parts of the microscope includes the objective lenses and the eyepiece. The illuminating parts which provide and manage the light source in order to clearly see the image of the object includes the diaphragm and the mirror. On the other hand, the mechanical parts provide support and protection to the other parts of the microscope. The mechanical parts include the coarse adjustment knob, the fine adjustment knob, the stage and the stage clip, the arm, base, revolving nose piece, and the body tube. Now, let's elaborate the function of each part of the microscope. This is the eyepiece. It is also called ocular. It contains a lens that magnifies for about 10 times. It is also where we peep through. This part of the microscope is the body tube. It connects the eyepiece lens from the revolving nose piece and objective lens. Next is this part. This is the nose piece, or also called revolving nose piece. It holds the low power and high power objective lenses. It also turns to allow the lenses to rotate for viewing position. Next are these parts. These are called objective lenses. The longer one is called high power objective lens, which able to magnify for about 40 times. The shorter one is called low power objective lens, which can magnify specimen for about 10 times. Other microscope have even more objective lenses. The question is, why does microscope needs two or more objective lenses? Well, take a look at this. If you use high-power objective lens, 
and see that the image is bigger than you need to see the full details, might as well use other objective lens until you get the best image. On the other situation, if the image is smaller than what you need, might as well use high power objective lens until you get the best image. Now, let's go back to the different parts of the microscope. These knob right here are also important. This is the coarse adjustment knob. By turning this, it moves the body tube for focusing with the low power objective lens. This small knob right here is also important to make the image clear. This is the fine adjustment knob. By turning this, it sharpens the image under high and low magnification. Therefore, if you see that the image is blurred, just turn the fine adjustment knob until you find the perfect image. This part of the microscope is called arm, and it supports the body tube. This is called slide, or microscope slide. This is where you put the specimen or the tiny object you want to observe. And you put it right here. This part of the microscope is called stage. And these two clips are called stage clip. The stage supports the slide being used, while the stage clip holds the microscope slide in place. This part is called inclination joint. It allows microscope to tilt if needed. This part of the microscope is called base. It provides support for the microscope and be stable. This part is the pillar. It connects the base to the arm. Take a look at this. Why do we have a mirror right here? This mirror is important because it collects light from the surrounding and reflects light upward through the diaphragm. We need to put light on the specimen so we can see it clearly. That is why other microscopes use bulb to supply the light on the specimen. This part of the microscope right here is called diaphragm or iris diaphragm. It controls the amount of light passing through the opening of the stage. Now you know the different parts and function of compound microscope. Did you know that there are other high-tech microscopes that was able to observe even bacteria, molecules, and even cells? That is amazing, right? <laughs>